What's going on guys? Hope you're doing well. Before I start this video, I want to thank Jarif Zebra from the Tesla Motor page for first uh, helping me discover this video and also to Tesla Raj on YouTube for beating me to it on posting uh, NFC technology on your Tesla. As you just saw, I used NFC technology or near field communication with my iPhone to open the frunk and also open the trunk rather than having to speak with the stats app into my Apple Watch or iPhone to do those automations. So what is near field technology? It's actually these little uh, stickers here that have these uh, circuit coils in them it looks like and you can actually stick these guys anywhere uh, you so choose as long as it's not near metal it works great on fabric it works great on plastic but thin layers so the options to stick these guys are almost limitless so what can I do with these stickers so I'm doing this video because I want to go into a more in-depth detail on where we can place these NFC stickers. I actually commented on Tesla Raj's video and I said, this is nice, however, when I have a cart of groceries rolling to my car, I still prefer to speak to my Apple Watch, so using the Stats app to open trunk, so it's already open when I'm walking up to it, which is true, but then I thought about it. Where else can I place this sticker that we all carry almost every day besides our cell phones? For the guys, how about your wallet? So I actually slapped a sticker in my wallet on the inside, avoiding the credit card area, so I have no credit cards in this pouch, and I can close it, well, take it out of my pocket, and just tap my iPhone to automate my Tesla. For the ladies, who carry purses or maybe little hand carry wallets, I slapped the sticker actually inside her front pouch here so she can now automate the Tesla uh, whichever way she chooses by tapping her iPhone on the purse. Not only the purse and the wallet, but how about your work ID badge, right? So a lot of us carry work ID badges. You can actually slap this sticker uh, right on your badge so when you're walking out from work you can just tap your iPhone when it's unlocked to automate your Tesla. Not only on these items but you can maybe at your office desk or your computer slap one of these stickers on the monitor or maybe just on the desk itself. Just tap it with your iPhone to automate your Tesla that way. If you guys have any other great ideas on where to slap these stickers to automate your Tesla let me know down in the comments. So I actually got these NFC stickers on Amazon. Uh, it's a pack of 10 and it only costs $8. So if the sticker wears off over time, it is adhesive, you can just buy more. It's eight bucks for 10 of them. It's super cheap and affordable. And also guys, I wanna point out, it only works with iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Max, the XS, the XS Max, and the XR. So if you have an older iPhone, it will not work with this NFC tag. So guys, I use the Stats app to automate my Tesla using NFC technology. Stats app is available on the App Store for purchase. Um, I use this quite often to give me a more in-depth view of my car. Um, it just gives me more options and settings as, uh, as far as the Tesla automation goes. To enable the NFC technology, I want to go to Siri Shortcuts under the settings. And now you can see, well my car's named Charles, but um, you can see I have it set to, here we go, open the trunk, and it's going to say add to Siri. So when I click add to Siri, I, mean, I already have it in there, so I'm not going to click it, but you can choose anything you want to say. So when you tell Siri to open the trunk, it will actually open the trunk. Once you have all your commands inputted, you go to another app called My Shortcuts. This is a default app that comes with the um, Apple iPhone. So you can see I have all my automations in here, and now I'm going to go to Automation and I'm going to click on the plus button and it's going to say create personal automation I'm going to tap that and you're going to scroll down to the bottom and type or just tap NFC so you're going to tap on scan and hold device near NFC tag so I have my tag right here I'm just going to tap it right up to the front of it let's just call this unlock car hit done hit next and now we can choose the action we want to do. You'll type in stats, follow the stats app, and then we can say 
unlock Charles. That's my car's name. So unlock Charles and that's it. We'll click on next. And we don't want to ask before running, so we'll turn that off. We want it to be fully automated, so we'll hit don't ask, hit done. So now every time when I tap this NFC tag to my phone, it just unlocked the car running automation. It literally takes less than a second. So if I want to add another option to unlock the car with this specific N NFC tag, tap on, so I can tap on do. I'll hit the plus, so I want to add an additional automation. Again, type in the stats app. And let's say when I want to tap that NFC tag, I also want to, uh, let's see, open the trunk. I'll tap that in there as well. And again, I can add another one if I so choose. I can activate the sentry mode. And then I'll hit the back button. And then I'll hit done. So now you can see all of those automations are under this one NFC tag. So when I tap it, it's going to do all of those automations at once. So guys, that's how you set up the NFC tags in Apple iPhone. It's super easy and the options are almost limitless on where you can place these stickers uh, and also the choices you can do with your Tesla. So yeah, I'm at the front of my Model 3 here. Just to show you where I stuck the NFC tag, it's right here. And I actually took a spoon, and you have to be careful because I actually broke the clips on this ring here. So when you take your uh, mechanism to remove this piece, whatever you so choose, I use a spoon, uh, take it from the bottom because the clips are very are on the bottom here so you don't break them, right? So when you take it out here, and I got to get a new one from Tesla now because I broke my clips. Um, you can see where I stuck the NFC sticker right behind this plastic piece here. So as you can see, it won't hold its place too well here, so I'm going to have to get this fixed. But um, take extra precaution when moving this cap from the front bumper here, if you so choose to add an NFC tag uh, for the front. Now you guys know how to use NFC technology in your Tesla through the use of automation in your stats app. If you found this video informative, consider liking down below and subscribing if you haven't already. I have a lot more content coming your way. Until next time, have a good one.